Greetings game designers. In this video, we're going to talk about how to make Homer's legs and feet um, low poly style. Um, when we last left off, we were making the crotch area for Homer. So let's go ahead and again review what we did last time. So we created these uh, holes for Homer's legs and created a crotch area. Now, before we begin making the legs, it's important to figure out how many vertices we are going to weld. So if you count the vertices here, I'm going to go to vertex mode. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, which is a beautiful number. So if we make a cylinder that has eight axes, symmetry, symmetrical axes, um, axes, axes, um, we were able to fit that and connect it and weld it relatively easily. Okay, so that's kind of our pre-planning that we're going to do. Okay, so as you can already uh, suspect, we're going to use a cylinder to start out. So I'm going to use again a cylinder. I'm going to make the right leg first. So I'm going to use interactive draw here. So I'm going to draw it um, about yay high and then pull it up. Okay, looking at the other views, it'll look like that. Okay. So I'm making uh, legs for Homer here. And I'm going to go ahead and um, go to our channel box and actually go in there and change the values. Um, so I'm going to go back to my group one and go ahead and hit H to unhide my references so I can see kind of how thick I want to make his legs. So um, in this example, again, I'm going to go ahead and move his legs right now where I want it. And obviously, this is not high enough. So I'm going to try a height of, let's say, 3, and move it up a little bit and see where I'm at. OK. So I want it to be on the ground. And I want it to be just below his crotch so I have room to work with so that I can uh, expand it out. Now um, let's go ahead and move this leg backwards a little bit here. So I'm using the side view to kind of center the leg there and kind of move it in, but not too in because I don't want it to go across the uh, the x-axis here. So um, that looks about right. And let's make this a nice number, and let's go 0.75 for the height. Okay. Uh, for the, I'm sorry, the radius. And the height of 3 is just fine. Okay. So um, instead of adding subdivisions for heights, I'm actually going to use the uh, insert edge loops to kind of insert them exactly where I want this, okay? So again, I want the cylinder to touch the bottom of the floor. I want it to be just below the crotch area so that I can weld it later on. And um, the more important part though is I changed the subdivision of axes. Right now there's way too many uh, subdivisions. I'm gonna change that to eight like we talked about before during our planning stage. We're gonna make it eight, which is gonna make it look like an octagon and we're going to connect that to the eight vertices here. Now, if you use our kind of our um, our preview, it looks kind of uh, you know kind of blocky to be a leg. But if I can assure you, if you hit number three to see in smooth view, um, you'll see that the leg would be nice and rounded anyway. So let's go and go back to poly view, and let's go ahead and start uh, inserting our edge loops. Okay, so. Again, anytime you have a moving joint, like a kneecap or an ankle, we're going to need two uh, face, two uh, strips of faces or three uh, edge loops. So I'm going to go to Mesh Tools here and start inserting edge loops. Okay, So I'm going to click on where I want the first edge loop, and I'm going to click right here near the top. And I'm going to create uh, where, um, make sure you don't have soft select on. Um, and uh, we don't have symmetry, so let's go ahead and turn that off. Um, we're, we're not going to worry about symmetry for now. And I'm going to insert another edge loop uh, right here. Okay, so I still have my um, edge loop uh, tool right here, and now I created two edge loops. If you create an edge loop and you don't like where you selected it, you can always hit W and move it up, okay, to where you want it. Okay, if you want to go back and let's say I want to make this edge loop kind of in between, you can double click the edge loop and I'll select the entire edge loop and you can kind of move it and kind of um, make it just about right where you want it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and keep going on this edge loop tool since I have it right here now, over here on my left. I'm gonna insert an edge loop for the knees. So here, and let's say this is the center of the knee. I'm gonna go above the knee. Again, I'm creating two sections for the knee. 
and I don't kind of like where it's located right now. I'm going to hit W, kind of move that a little bit more inward. I don't want too big of a knee here. I'm going to double click this edge. It's going to click the edge loop again, and I'm going to adjust it so that I have, you know, where I basically want the knees. Okay, so I'm going to go back and click on the edge loop tool again, insert edge loop tool. You'll see that the last tool you use is right here. I'm going to go ahead and create the middle of the ankle. So I'm going to go right about here. And I'm going to put a edge loop above it and an edge loop below it. And I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to use W tool and go ahead and move it up. So now I have a moving joint for the uh, above your hamstring, a, you know, two sections for your knees, two sections for your ankles. And again, later on, if you figure out that, you know, it's not big enough or not small enough, you can always click on the edge loop and move them up and down to adjust uh, as needed. So let's go ahead and create the feet. Um, the feet, we're going to keep it very simple in this example. I'm just going to go to face tool and I'm going to click the front two feet. Okay, to the front two faces. So if you look at it in the perspective view here, I'm clicking the two front faces of the um, hexagon on the bottom. And I'm going to use the uh, just the move tool. So if you click W or if you already have it selected, the move tool here, I'm going to hold, I'm just going to actually just move it. I'm not going to even use extrude. I'm just going to move the feet. Okay, so and I'm going to zoom in here. And you can see that it already kind of creates a ankle for me. Okay, kind of creates a foot for me, a kind of a slide on top of a foot. It creates that little ramp already, uh, kind of that triangular shape that slopes upward to our feet. And that's about it. We already got the foot. Let's go ahead and click on number three and kind of preview it inside smooth mode. And you can see that, yeah, we have a nice looking foot here for Homer. Okay. So now that uh, we are done with the right foot, we're just gonna have to duplicate it. Um, so I'm gonna go back and go to object mode. I'm gonna click on the whole object. If I go to the channel box, you can see that you know we translated it and moved it and all this stuff. So we're gonna click on freeze transformation. You can click on this button right here, or we can go to modify and go to freeze transformation. They both do the same thing. They turn all the translates and rotates to zero and all the scales to one. And now we can go ahead and duplicate it. So I'm going to go to uh, edit now and we're going to go to duplicate special. Click on the little box right here. And um, this is already kind of using my previous duplicate. So I'm going to use a copy. I'm going to keep it a uh, group under parent if, you know, that's not even really applied right now. And the most important part is that we're going to scale it off the X axis in the negative one direction. And we're going to hit apply. and it didn't look like it worked so let's see what we did wrong uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, delete that again uh, oh yeah I know what I did wrong okay so I'm gonna hit the delete on this one or control Z um, what I forgot to do is go back to the object and um, we're gonna click and actually model and reset transformation because right now the pivot of the foot is right in the center of the object we're going to actually reset transformation so that it is back to the origin. So the pivot now is back at the origin. And now we can go ahead and go to edit, um, duplicate special, make sure that the y, the x value is negative one, and go ahead and hit apply. And now we have a duplicate leg on the other side. Now, make sure that when you create a duplicate using the negative one scale tool method, that you go back and you go ahead and click on reset transformation or freeze transformations and turn everything back to zero, zero, zeros and one for scale. Otherwise, when you import this to Unity, for example, it will invert the legs and the legs will be like inside out. Okay. All right. So now we have a left leg, a right leg and the body. And what we're going to actually start to weld these legs to uh, the crotch and the sides of Homer's belly. So before we can weld, again, you have to combine the meshes. So I'm going to click on all three meshes here, or you can click it here in your uh, outliner window it's the same thing when to go to mesh tools or edit mesh I'm sorry under mesh under mesh tool and we're gonna go to combined and it's gonna turn it all into one uh, cylinder here and um, now I'm gonna use the perspective view a little bit more because now we're gonna go in there and weld these things we're gonna need to select on a lot of different things um, right now I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn off the references I'm gonna go to group one 
hit H and hide the references because um, that's kind of in the way. I'm going to go back and click on our one combined mesh and um, and we're going to start uh, creating one more layer that goes from here to here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create one more extrusion. Okay, So I'm going to go to face select and I'm going to click on these faces. Okay, So just make sure that I don't have uh, other faces selected here like I do there and I have only these faces selected. Now obviously I want to select the faces over here too so that's kind of a reminder to myself that um, I'm not turning on symmetry like I should. So I click on object X I should have uh, all the faces selected. Okay, So I'm going to make sure right now that I don't have any other faces selected here. Alright, so I got all the faces I want to select and I'm just going to use, uh, since it's already on the move tool, I'm just going to do a shift and extrude shift and then move the one of these arrows and it's going to create a extrusion so I extruded one more section and now I'm going to hit delete and delete all the faces that I selected okay so again the reason why we created these uh, cylinders in to have eight subdivisions is that it will have eight vertices that now can connect to these uh, eight vertices inside the crotch and the side of its hip Okay, <clears throat> all right, so we're going to go ahead and go to a uh, vertex mode now and see all the vertices that we're going to weld. And uh, I'm going to go to the uh, uh, the modeling toolkit and go ahead and click on target weld. And um, I'm thinking that I want to use uh, the option to merge to center. So whatever two points we decide to weld, it is going to weld uh, it to the center. So here's kind of the hard part about welding is that you really want to have a good view of the vertices that we are dealing with here. Okay. All right. So I'm kind of have this good view right here. So kind of plan out where you're going to merge. I'm going to kind of weld these two together. I'm going to weld these two together. I'm going to weld these two together and kind of work my way around. Okay. But these two are the most logical ones to weld first. So I'm going to go ahead and weld those. I'm going to click on target weld. Make sure my center tool is chosen. I'm going to click on the leftmost side of the cylinder and I'm going to merge it to the uh, innermost side of the crotch and it create it will uh, merge to center. So now that I have those two merged I can go ahead and click on these two and merge those. And again I'm going to work, kind of work my way around here. Click on these two and merge those. Click these two and merge those and you can see the green dot is where the vertices is going to be because it's going to use the center algorithm. I'm going to click this one to this one. And you know right away if you made a mistake and if you need to make a mistake, just, you know, control Z it, undo it. Click here to here, merge these two together. And I think I'm down to two more points. I'm going to merge this one, or weld these two together. And the last two, I'm going to merge, weld these two together. And now if I zoom out, I have connected the legs to uh, Homer's uh, crotch and hips. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do is kind of fix this kind of awkward looking circles around the hip area. Okay, so uh, I'm going to make sure I'm on vertex mode here and that I don't have target weld on. I'm just going to go to select mode and I'm going to go ahead and select uh, where I think I need to fix the geometry. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on this vertice. I think this is where kind of like the beginning of the problem is or maybe even here maybe these two together and I still have symmetry on and I'm going to use the move tool but I'm going to use it with soft select so I'm going to kind of soft select um, a large portion here and just kind of move these the way I feel it needs to be moved okay so I kind of move this to kind of center it a little bit here <coughs> and I'm going to click on this one right here and I'm going to move it to the right to kind of round it out a little bit here and um, I'm also going to actually also click on this point back again and I'm going to increase its uh, soft select point here and I'm going to use the front view and kind of make sure it's nice and rounded okay and if like for example when I do this I sort of don't like the way uh, it's moving too many of the points so that kind of gives me a hint that I'm going to control Z and lower the area of effect of my soft select. So now it's gonna affect a little bit less. 
Okay. And now it's also a good time to go ahead and go back to our references to group number one. Hit H, turn those uh, references back on, and now we can go ahead and fix some of the uh, symmetry so um, and the curves. So I'm going to go back to vertex mode, and I got this point selected here, and I'm going to use go ahead and use W, and go ahead and pull it out. Oop, sorry, I have my nerve surface on. Click on my cylinder, go to vertex mode, and go back to this point here, and feels like I'm pushing a little bit too hard. Uh, actually, not too bad. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and click on this point here, kind of fix this out, round it out here. And maybe this inside of the hip is a little bit too inward. Um, I'm going to pull it uh, a little forward. Like that. Uh, maybe pull it a little bit outward like this okay and it's good again it's really good again to go and use uh, number three to kind of preview in soft mode and kind of see how the curves are looking right now on Homer's body and it's looking pretty good so um, maybe click here maybe here um, kind of like in between here kind of give that a little more curve okay <clears throat> and you can you know you can kind of add more knees if you want to like kind of push the knee out a little bit you can kind of push the knee forward kind of give uh, a little bit more maybe on the back of the hamstring kind of you know for a more humanoid person give it a little more knee cap curve a little bit more um uh hamstring uh right there kind of give it that a little bit of a bump but all in all we have pretty good looking uh feet for homer and let's go ahead and kind of look use our perspective view and look guys we have all the limbs and feet and hands and legs for Homer. Um, maybe we can do a little bit better on the hands and kind of make that look a little bit less uh, sharp right here. But you know, no complaints here. We have a pretty good model. And again, we're not going into super detail where we're going to add, you know, ears, nose, eyes. That's more for later. We can do that a little bit later. But congratulations, guys. This is the last video on our uh, Homer um, low poly model. Um, we'll have more in the future when we add uh, more symmetry and maybe more detail to Homer. But as a low poly um, uh, object, he's looking pretty good, okay? So uh, actually, some, let's do some cleanup. So when we have the cylinder done here, we can go ahead and click on this and erase all of this history that we created. And it kind of cleans up our history, makes it one nice cylinder. And let's go ahead and uh, get rid of our reference now and kind of look at Homer uh, that we got going on here. Yeah. We got a good looking Homer. Okay. Maybe I can fix that hip a little bit more. But again, I'm not going to be too picky to myself. Um, we did a good job. Um, you can fix it if you feel the need to. Okay. And we got Homer.